concept of moderation is slightly different where mediation explains the relationship of how an IV affects the DV or it's the causal chain of relationship between IV and other variable and the DV. Moderation is about changing the existing relationship or what changes the existing relationship, what molds the existing relationship. So a moderating variable is actually a third variable that changes it can improve, strengthen or weaken the relationship between uh, the existing relationship between an independent and dependent variable. Now in order to do moderation in uh, <coughs> Smart PLS, what we need to do is, uh, here is uh, my data set, the same data set and uh, let's see, I've got this variable here, CC collaborative culture so I did a pre-run so it's role ambiguity okay and the dependent variable is organizational performance let's arrange it Let's name it CC and we'll name it OP. Let's link the two variables. Now here is your independent variable which is your collaborative culture. Here is your dependent variable which is organizational performance. And now what I intend to do is, what I intend to check here is that I, I presume or I hypothesize uh, that the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance will be affected by a third variable which is role ambiguity. This third variable here. Let's uh, rename it. Now this third variable role ambiguity will affect this relationship here. Now how will it affect this relationship? It will weaken the relationship between or the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. So role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance such that higher role ambiguity will weaken the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now how do you test mediation? So this is the relationship in which I want to test the mediation. So first thing is you will connect your moderator with the dependent variable in, in the relationship in which you want to test moderation. So this is the relationship I want to check the moderation in. So you will link the role ambiguity with the dependent variable in that relationship. Now the model has turned blue. But still you haven't added the moderating effect. So how do we add the moderating effect? We either can do it from here, just select the variable and add moderating effect here. Or you can even right click on it and add moderating effect. Both ways are correct. So we'll add moderating effect. So what is our moderating variable? Our moderating variable is role ambiguity. And our independent variable is collaborative culture. Now there are three different calculation methods. There is product indicator approach, there is two stage approach and there is orthogonalization. Now we will use product indicator approach because your constructs are reflective. If you want to know more detail about these, I'll share a book chapter that you can read, uh, sorry, read uh, to find out which calculation method is to be used. So if you've got a formative construct, you can use uh, this two-stage approach. And if you've got a reflective construct, we'll be talking about reflective and formative uh, in some time when you are discussing the higher order construct. For now, in order to just easily understand 
since the arrows are pointing from your latent construct to your indicators this is reflective so we will use product indicator approach the rest of it is fine just press ok and see here is your moderating effect added now it's better to rename it just right click and once you hover your mouse around you will find that the information is correct yes the dependent variable is organizational performance yes the moderating variable is role ambiguity and the independent variable is collaborative culture so yes the information that i added during my moderation setup is correct right click on it you can rename it moderation underscore ra between let's say cc and op okay so now your model is ready to run so how do we run the model same thing because it's a structural model good for bootstrapping complete one tailed path and start calculation <coughs> Since it's a product indicator approach, uh, I'll just just hold on one. I'll I'll discuss the product indicator approach in slight detail. It may take some time to run because moderating uh, moderations are a bit complex. Now, if you look here at the path coefficients and look at the moderating effect of RA, it's negative as expected and it is significant. So, RA, role ambiguity, is moderating the relationship between CC and OP and the moderating effect is negative. The moderating effect is negative, which means that RA is actually or RA weakens the relationship between CC and OP. So the strength of relationship between CC and OP is dampened or weakened by RA as a moderator or role ambiguity as a moderator. How do I know this? Because if you go to path coefficient, the original sample is negative. So there is significant moderation in this model. Now when your moderation is significant, it's always a good idea to report it through slope analysis. Now, Smart PLS does offer its own uh, slope results or slow, uh, chart, but there are other ways to do it as well. We are going to look at both of them. Uh, I personally uh, find this one by James Gaskin uh, a little easier to use. So we'll be discussing both of them. Just give me a second. <coughs> Okay, so in order to get slope analysis, you have to go to calculate PLS algorithm and start. And here it is under the final results, simple slope analysis. Click on it and you get this slope. So click on it and you get this slope. And you, it's, it's always a, a good idea to put it into Excel. It's... Uh, much more clearer there okay if you look at if you look at this graph here now this is your IV, CC, collaborative culture, and this is your DV, organizational performance. Now the role of moderation or you do moderation just to evaluate whether a third variable will significantly change the existing relationship between IV and DV, whether it will strengthen the relationship or whether it will weaken the relationship. Now. <coughs> 
sorry now in order to do this you can review this chart now if you look here these are three lines one is green which means that when the roll ambiguity is increased now if you look at the red line this is a roll ambiguity at mean like normal roll ambiguity with no moderation involved and this is when roll ambiguity is reduced now if you look at these three lines you will find that this line is much steeper the blue line is much steeper than this green line this means that when your roll ambiguity increases sorry uh, this uh, at, at low roll ambiguity at high roll ambiguity this is when your roll ambiguity is increased so this line here the effect the green line if you look at here this line where roll ambiguity is increased your results are not that steep the change is not uh, that effective so when you increase the roll ambiguity the effect the significance of effect of cc on op may not be that high because your increased roll ambiguity is reducing the effect of cc on op this line is much steep because there is low roll ambiguity when there is low roll ambiguity the positive effect of collaborative culture on op is increased so this graph when you draw it in smart pls is not that clear that's why ramaya and other other uh, experts they use other excel tools to draw uh, these graphs now what i have done here is i've used jm gaskin approach so if you look here there are two lines one is blue which means or represents low roll ambiguity and it is much steeper and the red line the steepness is low so the red line means high roll ambiguity so when there is high roll ambiguity there is not much of an effect of higher collaborative culture on organizational performance but when your roll ambiguity is low there is more effect the steepness is look this is high so there is higher effect of high cc on op so with high ra even if you have got high cc when the role ambiguity is high even if you have high collaborative culture extremely good collaborative culture extreme collaboration within the organization your organizational performance won't be that high but in the other case look at this steepness if your role ambiguity is low your high collaborative culture will lead to higher organizational performance so role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance that is role ambiguity dampens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance it weakens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance so that your if your role ambiguity is high the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational uh, performance is weakened and this is depicted by the steepness in the lines here let's uh, let's remove the negative sign from here for now just to just to elaborate on this let's say the moderator was pos the independent variable so these are path coefficient from independent variable to the dependent variable here this is cc to op independent variable to the dependent variable this is moderating effect which is let's say it is positive let's assume it is positive and this is the interaction this is the interaction minus or in this case uh, we we are using the earlier value just to give another example okay uh, the effect of moderation this is interaction moderating effect and the effect of moderator on the dependent variable this is the effect of moderator on the dependent variable so you put all these in here for now we are changing the value slightly just to do an example now have a look here 
QoS strengthens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. How? Look at the steepness. So if there is high perceived organizational support, there at low collaborative culture, you will have low organizational performance. At high collaborative culture, there will be higher organizational performance. Look at the steepness of this curve here, the red one. And look at the steepness of this one. Look at the change in the effect of CC on OP. The change is very little here when the, or the perceived organizational support is low. When you improve or increase the perceived organizational support, the effects become more significant. The line is steeper, the higher, there is a higher impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. I hope now it's making more sense.